Hey, my name is James Wilkinson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about 700,000 people, 700,000 people have either missed a rental payment last month or a mortgage payment. That's big news and that's going to impact a lot of us as property investors. So make sure that you watch in this video and let's talk about what that means for us as property investors. Now, we're going to do a countdown to our 5,000 subscribers first because we're so close. I know we keep saying this in every video, but we genuinely are really close now. We have a target of 5,000 subscribers and we're currently sitting at 4,926 at the time of recording this, meaning we need 74. Just 74 people to subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, then we don't need to have this countdown anymore. We're so close to getting there. And while you're there, smash the like button as well. Maybe you'll be the 5,000th subscriber. Comment below if you are that person. So look, there's a lot going on. We knew that people are getting hit hard at the moment. That makes obvious sense. Uh, we've had interest rate rises. We've got rampant inflation. It's still above 10%. Other countries are significantly lower now. America's around 5%. Euro's in the 5, 7, 5 to 7% area as well. And we're still above 10. Uh, and so that's really not helping people with affordability for products and services. And so which they've been uh, doing a consumer survey and which, to be fair, their data is really good normally. And so they're saying that 700,000 people have either missed a rental payment or a mortgage payment. Now, they haven't, which would have been useful, broken it down to say how many of those were mortgages and how many of those are rental. But they did indicate in there that more, these, more of these people are actually rental payments. Uh, but it doesn't say what the split is there. So that's a lot of people. How many is that? Well, it's actually 2.5% of the housing market is currently, or at least in April, missed a payment. Now, what that means is that people are being hit really hard. In the report, they talk about people are cutting back massively on spending. That indicates there's very likely that we're going to hit a recession officially at some point by the end of the year. Uh, and that's obvious. Like, I think that was fairly likely that we were going to go into a recession. The government said at one stage we were going to have the longest recession, but it was going to be shallow. We kind of avoided that uh, so far. So maybe we've had that initial part where it didn't go into a recession, but it was very, 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 very close to happening. And now, look, I'd be very shocked if we're not in a recession by the end of the year, which is two consecutive quarters of negative growth. But people are cutting back on spending and they're cutting back on their spending in order to be able to pay their rent and their mortgage payments. Now, that isn't great for the great the great British economy, right? It's just not great news. Um, and as us, and ha look, how does this impact us as property investors? Well, what I think you need to really understand as an investor is if you don't need to put your rents up then don't rents are going up at record rates so what are we doing in our portfolio so if we've got good tenants and they've been with us a while and they pay their rent on time then we are putting the rents up but around two percent to five percent that depends on the area right so might be two percent in the south and five percent in the north uh, because the northern rents are significantly less anyway. So we will be putting our rents up, but we're not putting them up at the level of inflation. However, when the property becomes empty, say somebody moves on to somewhere new, then we do put it at the market rate or whatever that is. But I think it's important that, look, getting a new tenant costs you money. And so if you can afford to accommodate that tenant and you can keep their rent a little bit more affordable, but you make it clear that you're helping them out and you expect that rental payment on time, then you're more likely to become a priority bill, right? Because that's the thing here. 
they're paying some people on time and others not on time. And so as a landlord, you want to make sure that you build that relationship with your tenant and you get higher up that list of importance than somebody else. It's none of your business whether they pay their other bills or not, but you need to make sure you get your bills sorted. But also give them some advice if there's any grants or support uh, or if they're at, at difficult times. Like I've had some tenants, for example, that lost their jobs uh, through the pandemic. And so give them advice on how that they can get housing benefits because you think that's obvious, but I've had multiple tenants over the years that were entitled to housing benefits that were maybe too proud or didn't know how to do it or assumed that they weren't likely to get it. Help them be aware and pass that information through your estate agent or make the estate agent um, be sure that they're doing that. You want to make it so people can pay you. A tenant that we've got in a Dorking property at the moment, they actually had their older child move back in with them, a 16 year old child. And that meant that they were entitled to some more benefits. And that's helping make the burden of rent that little bit easier. So there are support mechanisms out there. And maybe as a landlord, you should be looking at what they are. And then you should be advising your tenants if that can be done to help you. And so that's very, very important that you do all the right things to support uh, tenants. Now, with regards to mortgage payments, what does that show us? Well, look, we are saying on this channel that we think the prices of properties are going to go down throughout the year. If people aren't making their payments on time, then of course that means they're struggling and those sorts of people might need to sell their property at a reduced price. And so that means that those prices of those properties will come down for a period of time. And so that indicates that the market is having a tough moment at the moment. No, no one's under any illusion that it wasn't. But we've got another looming interest rate rise next week or the week after. Uh, we've got all sorts of things going on that really mean that everyone is stretched. Until this inflation stuff gets dealt with, you've got to think of it as a property investor, as your tenants are your customers. And so if you can help your customers, your tenants, have a better time, actually get all the support that's out there, you're going to be a lot more likely that you get paid. And if you get paid, that means your investment will work. If you don't get paid, you're going to get real difficult situations. If you get tenants massively in arrears, it's going to cost you money to get them out. It's going to cost you money to do any refurbishment work that it needs doing. It's going to cost you more money to get a new tenant in there. So ideally, help them. Don't raise their rate rent so much if you can accommodate it. Find all the support that's out there and really do everything you can to make that relationship work for both parties. Communicate with your tenants. I saw something in a property Facebook group the other day and somehow this landlord, and this landlord sounds horrendous to me. Um, I would leave immediately if he was my landlord. Somehow the landlord knew that the tenant was behind on their credit card payments. I don't know if they're opening their post or what is going on to be able to find that information out. And so the landlord was asking in this Facebook group, should he send them a letter saying, I know you're not paying your bills on time. They're paying his rent on time, but that's actually a, a data breach. It's none of your business and you shouldn't be looking at that sort of information. So don't become like that guy. Uh, I don't think that that's the right thing to do at all. Anyway, the point of this message is people are struggling. There's 700,000 people not paying their rent on time at the moment or their mortgage. And so as an investor, you need to make sure that you can do everything you can to support them to make sure that you get paid as well. Hope that's found you found that useful. Let me know what you think. Do you think that's going to have a big impact on house prices? Comment below. Like the video. 74 of you watching this. There's going to be more than 74 viewers on this that haven't subscribed. Uh, you could get this complete by tomorrow. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. If you think you're the 5,000 subscriber, comment below as well. That's it from me. I'm James Nicholson. Thanks for watching my channel. Go and check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.